Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Garrett, and welcome back to Steel Rising on the PlayStation 5. We uh, cleaned up a few more side quests last episode, and we do have the uh, blueprint situation. So we're going to give them a chat, too. Monsieur B. Here are the blueprints you asked for. Good heavens. You found them. Your yeah, I found them. not able to profit much from their theft. They met with an unfortunate end. Oh, the poor souls. Their crimes did not deserve such a permanent ending. Certainly, certainly. Let us look at these documents now. If I mean, I, I, I don't think I necessarily was the cause part of everything. Of the cog that transfers the driving force to the escapement. Diablo, you're right. It's driven by the B wheel, and its axis is on the shaft that's visible at this point. Precisely. In fact, the shaft sits between the conical bearing and the small groove here. See? True. It's decided then. All we would have to do is separate these two plates to disable the entire thing. And to put them back in place at the agreed time to start the machine again. You will not be able to assist me. I have to do it alone. Half a league away. You must be joking. By no means. You'll have to find another solution. Unfortunately, madame, you're asking us to do the impossible. Oh, ça, par exemple. Once your spirit is untethered from this automat, it will be impossible for you to start the machine up again. Hold on, my dear Antoine. Is this device in figure four? Is it still in place? Hmm. Yes, it is. What of it? Bon sang. It's a timer. It's primitive, true, but fully functional. The dial has marks from one to fifteen. Probably minutes. It was to allow Eugène to plan the duration of Ludia's dances in advance. Ah, uh, okay. See. And by reversing the position of this peg in the center, we could instead turn it into a period of inactivity. Nozi son, mon ami. Fantastic. Will Aegis be able to operate this device herself? We'll make it easier for her. All you have to do is put a bolt there that she can remove when the time is right. Yes, a small iron rod will suffice. We won't have any trouble finding something that will do. When the timer dial reaches zero, the automat will come back to life. However... Given the dial's fragility, we will probably get only one chance to try this. Are you sure that the bond between my soul and this machine will be re-established? Ma foi, I admit yeah, that I mean, can't it, be sure Who this. knows? What do you say, mon père? Don't be afraid, Aegis. Unless I've been wrong from the beginning, your soul will seek refuge in the only body it has available to it in this world. Well then, shall we start the preparations? Let's begin. My fate is in your hands, monsieur. Voila. Everything is in place. When it's time, just pull on this metal loop to start the timer. Remember, you will have 15 minutes and no more before your spirit returns to your body. We wish you good luck, madame. Remember, to get to Rue de Montmorency, you're best going through the cemetery behind the Église Saint-Jacques in the Quartier de l'Hôtel de Ville. Here is the key to the gate. Our prayers are with you, my child. Whew! All right. All right. Uh, travel. So Enter the in-between. This is the whole side quest. Well, we might as well finish this all up because as of right now, it looks like this is our last side quest at the moment. So doing this will allow us to keep going on to the main mission. I've been, Again, I've enjoyed doing these side missions. They've been pretty simple, very straightforward. No real issues for me on that part of things. All right. Me, everybody. And this way. Okay, we'll go ahead and set our spawn point case.
You never know. I'd hate to get a stupid hit on me and then die and... Oh, see? Like that. Like, stupid hit. Okay, set this one. Excuse me. That might have been a walk and kick through. Sorry. Sorry, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, where's my... Huh? Okay, there it is. I was like, well, where'd it go? <laughs> Let's see. Guess we go down here. Oh. of such terrible slaughter. A long time, you say? That's not possible, sir. I've just now appeared to you. Nay, but thou must trust me. And thou wast hardly alone in this temple. Oh, there were many travelers, stiff and silent, all in agony, all bound to the Okay. Agony. What travelers do you speak of? The first to arrive was a sobbing child. Searching for his mother. <laughs> After him, a many a damned soul carrying their own heads in hand. Then, those whose thoughts passed through me. <sighs> a minister of God tormented by doubt. Hold on. A minister of God? Monsignor de la Far. A scholar with soul star filled and a learned master of alchemy. Monsieur Bailly and Monsieur Lavoisier. A usurer who shed so many tears for his lady. Monsieur Necker, mourning his wife. All bound to the anchor stone. <laughs> Wretched souls, their ascension to the heavens repelled. The anchor stone, monsieur. Lapis philosophorum. The philosopher's stone. Aye! Vile knave who took it for his own lately. No count is he but that of Crispus and Perfidy. Cagliostro. Well met. The rope for this violet and I shall be avenged. The anchor stone keeps the travelers in this limbo and makes them masters of the Iron Titans. From the defunct springs the fire that burns inside these demons. <laughs> Lanterns of the dead. 
Witchcraft of the blackest sort. The terrible slaughter. You say I was just observing the massacres. I file innumerable crimes. The devil's own cursed titans and their restless horde. They drinketh from the lake where the souls of the dead sleep. <laughs> Men and women offered in sacrifice to feed the pyre. Then the terrible moor was opened, and in flowed legion of the dead. Ne'er hast I seen such and so many here during all my stay. Oh! The stone is verily mine dark confine. Lonely, so lonely, that mine vessel is no more, and my soul still cloistered in this place. Alack, I do despair of ever ascending to heaven. Gentle dame, I prithee do shatter my stone. You want me to break the stone that contains your soul? Is that what you're asking me to do? All right, Do you know chill out, Nick. Stone is? You've been buried for more than three centuries, Monsieur. The precious jewel, sublime treasure, was inscribed in my legacy, my testament, my testament. On my tomb engraved, gentle dame, on the tomb. So we got to find his tomb. What a strange encounter. I must tell Abbe Grigoire about it immediately. Thought maybe I could go that way. <laughs> There's a quicker way back over there. Is that an item? Oh, there's a chest there, yeah. Oh, they give us a carriage token. Like, hey, dude, like, it'll take you a little bit to get back. Is that, because I can use those. Those will let me go back to, so I, I won't lose my things if I use this, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. How have I not opened up this door? Hold on. Let's open up that, because that annoys me. <laughs> I hate when I find things like that. Like, come on, Garrett. That just annoys me. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, well, travel. So do you want me to go back here? Yeah, you want me to come back here and tell them what, what happened, huh? Hey, everybody! Can I help you, Aegis? The plan worked as we had hoped. My spirit left my body, and I traveled to the in-between. This is extraordinary. It confirms all my theories. You were right about the rest, too. Nicholas Flamel's soul had never left the in-between. Mon Dieu, four centuries. What a fearsome fate. Were you able to speak with this unfortunate soul? Yes, mon père. 
He claimed that I had been in purgatory for a long time, but had never spoken until then. Please, go on. He said he had met other visitors. Based on his descriptions, he was speaking of Monsignor de la Fare, Minister Necker, Monsieur Bailly and Monsieur Lavoisier. They all seemed unaware of his presence. All bound to the anchor stone. Those were his words. All those whom Cagliostro turned into his homicidal playthings. Yes, it is just as I thought. The subject has the impression of being the automat it is bound to. But his soul remains in the Right, imprisonment. okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Monsieur Flamel begged me to free him from purgatory. He has suffered for too long. How can we help him? If he is to be believed, we would simply have to break his stone. Of course, the Philosopher's Stone. The anchor stone that keeps him in the in-between. But where could it be after all this time? Look at this, mon père. These are Philosopher's Stones made by Cagliostro's hand. Do they look familiar? Heavens, they do. Ages. The ancient chalice of Saint-Jacques is adorned with a similar stone. It was entrusted to me by the parish priests, along with some other relics. I stored it in a reliquary chest in this very room. Here's the key. Go. Let us not waste a second more. That's... Goodbye, what, it, it's man. here? No shit. You're not gonna send me on some wild goose chase, huh? Here it is. Nobody Four thought that was the Philosopher's Stone? Four centuries. No mind can begin to comprehend what this poor man has suffered. Is this the fate that awaits us? An eternity of silence and solitude? Purgatory is just a stop on the journey, Monseigneur. Oh, I would give anything to believe it again. Monsieur Flamel, the time has come to set you free. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. Hallelujah! Purgatory is not the end. Do you know what that means, Abbot? Before I say anything, I would like to take the time to consider the phenomenon we have just witnessed with a clear head. You are mistaken. What we have just seen and heard makes us new apostles. From this day on, I will live only to share the good news of this divine manifestation. That is all well and good, Monseigneur. Alas, I will not be able to join your apostolate, for there is no mission more vital than the one we are undertaking. At the moment when the tyrant aims to annihilate his subjects, I have a duty to put deeds before prayer. Woo! Nice! We are fully done with that side mission. We've done everything to this point, as far as I know, which is great. I love cleaning up things like this, and, you know, so far, again, all the side missions have been pretty straightforward and easy. Nothing's been so difficult, or sometimes, you know, there's a little bit of backtracking, but... So, we're now on to the, uh, the next area, which we'll go there in the next episode, and, yeah, just keep things going. So thank you all for watching, really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like, it does help me out quite a bit. Also check out the channel because I have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys, stay frosty.